So here's the formula for the probability of the event E. So the probability of the event E, we'll write it as P of E, equals the number of outcomes in E over the total number of outcomes. So probability questions show up on the ACT frequently. And so you definitely want to remember this formula. But you're probably wondering, well, how am I going to do this? What if I forget it? So the suggestion that I have is think of two probability questions that you can answer intuitively, and then you can almost kind of derive this formula or backtrack to this formula if you think about what you're doing here. So rolling a five on a die, now we're gonna assume it's a six-sided die, okay? And that each side has numbers one through six, okay? So rolling a five on a die, if I asked you what's the probability of that, you would say one over six. And think about that. Number of outcomes in E, so the event that you want is rolling a five. Well, there's only one way that's gonna happen. There's only one five on that die, so number of outcomes in E is one. Total number of outcomes is six because there are six sides to the die. So there are, there's one that will work and five others that won't for a total of six. So the probability is one over six. What about picking an eight from a deck of cards? Well, you're going to intuitively do this the same way. Number of outcomes in E. Well, if you think about a deck of cards, there are four eights, okay? So the number of outcomes in E, the event being picking an eight, there's four of them. And then a deck of cards has 52 cards. And this, this does reduce to one out of 13. But if you think about the four out of 52, that kind of helps you see this. The number of outcomes in E, four. The total number of outcomes, 52, okay? So... Yeah, just kind of, if you can remember this, great. If you can't, think about the ones that you can answer intuitively and say, well, how did I get that? What did I do to get that? And that will help you solve more difficult probability problems on the ACT.